Welcome to my lecture online. Before we get into solving problems using the method of variation of parameters, let's do one more example using the method of undetermined coefficients, and then we can compare the two methods and hopefully get the same results. So here we have a non-homogeneous differential equation. And so first what we want to do is we want to find the homogeneous portion of the solution and then the particular part of the solution to get then, of course, the whole solution. Well, what we're going to do is first write this as a homogeneous equation, setting this equal to zero. So we get y double prime minus 5y prime plus 4y equal to zero. So now we're going to solve this equation, and we can do that by getting the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is going to look like this, r squared. Oh, that's a terrible looking r. There we go. That's better minus 5 times r plus 4 equals 0 and we can factor this we can factor this into r minus 4 times r minus 1 equals 0 which means we're going to have two roots r1 equals 4 and r2 equals 1 which means a homogeneous solution is going to look like this c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the 1t. All right, now that's the homogeneous part of the solution. Now to find the particular solution, we can guess that this is going to look something like a polynomial to the first power. So we're going to assume that y particular is going to be equal to a times t plus b. And all we have to do now is find the values for a and b. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first and second derivative of this, plug it back in the original equation, set it equal to 4t, and then solve for a and b. That's the method of undetermined coefficients. So y particular prime is equal to a, and y particular double prime is equal to 0. Now we plug these three back in the original equation, and so we get y double prime, that's going to be 0, minus 5 times y prime, which is a, plus 4 times y, which is a t plus b, and of course that should be a small t, and we set that equal to 4 t. All right, now we're going to combine terms on the left side. So we have minus 5a plus 4b, minus 5a plus 4b, and then we add that to plus 4 a times t is equal to 4 t. So now we can tell that 4 a needs to be equal to 4 and then minus 5 a plus 4 b needs to be equal to 0. So those are the two equations that help us find a and b. So 4 a equals 4 which means a equals 1. And then from here we can then have our second equation. So then we can say that minus 5 a plus 4b equal to 0. And since you already know what a is equal to, a is equal to 1, so minus 5 equals, oop, not yet, plus 4b is equal to 0, which means that 4b equals to 5, and b is equal to 5 over 4. So there are the two values for a and b, which means the particular solution can then be written as 1 times t, plus 5 over 4. So there's the particular solution. And then to find the total solution, the general solution, y is going to be equal to y sub h, which is c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the t, which is part of, that's the homogeneous part of the solution. And then we add to that plus t plus 5 over 4, which is the portion of the particular part of the solution. And that gives us the whole general solution. So the method of undetermined coefficients is by far the best method if indeed the coefficients are constant. Now using the method of variation of parameters, it's a little bit more involved and we'll see in just a moment how that is. But the advantage of that method is that the coefficients do not need to be constant in order to apply that method. So first we'll learn how to do it with constant coefficients and we can then compare results and then we're going to learn how to do it with non-constant coefficients. That's a lot more complicated, but stay with it and we'll go through it very systematically. And that's how it's done. 